Welcome back to this channel where I show you solutions of uh, practice problems for actuarial exams. Um, you have here uh, some addresses for information about me and information about my seminars, the, this channel and other things that I offer. Uh, I use the redirect service smarturl.it and then you put a forward slash and various words direct you to various things. So my website, for example, where I give advice on how to pass actuarial exams is smarturl.it forward slash pass. If you go to smarturl.it forward slash Jedi, that's me. And uh, if you want to um, give donations to the actuarial program at Illinois State University, uh, where I am the program director, you can go to smarturl.it forward slash help ISU actuary. And here is uh, an exercise for exam FM. We have a common stock that pays dividends at the end of each year. Each dividend is 4% greater than the prior dividend and the effective rate of interest is 8%. Find the convexity of that common stock. The convexity measure th sought is the one with respect to interest rate, not with respect to the force of interest. So one thing that uh, I hope you remember is that um, duration is defined as minus the derivative of the price with respect to the interest rate divided by the price and convexity is defined as the second derivative of the price with respect to the interest rate divided by the price. In both cases I mentioned the interest rate. If you take the same type of s derivatives with respect to the force of interest you get the Macaulay duration and Macaulay convexity, but that's not what we're talking about here. It was specifically stressed that we're working with the interest rate. One more thing that you need to remember is that the kind of basic core formula for the price of a stock modeled as um, a security that pays a regular dividends at the end of the year and dividends increasing at the regular growth rate G with the discount rate I, the price of the stock is the dividend at the end of the first year divided by the discount rate I minus G, the growth rate of the stock. And in this model we assume that G is less than I, otherwise we would get a negative answer and not a very good outcome. And also, if G is equal to I, we would actually get infinity. That would be a very strange answer. So, if we want to understand then what duration and convexity of this security is, well, we have the formula for the price as a function of interest rate. And we can calculate the first and second derivative. So, the first derivative with respect to I is minus d1 over i minus g squared. So that duration of the stock model this way is minus that derivative divided by the price. Well, the dividend cancels and uh, the minus and minus cancel and then uh, 1 i minus g cancels and you are left with 1 over i minus g. In this model, by the way, I minus G is the dividend divided by the price. That's called the dividend yield of the stock. So actually duration in this model is equal to the reciprocal of the dividend yield of the stock. And now we look at the second derivative. Okay, well the second derivative is a derivative of the derivative. So we take the derivative with respect to i of minus d1 over i minus g squared. And we get a second minus, so the minuses cancel. And we get uh, 2d1 times 1 over i minus g cubed. It's simply negative 2 times i minus g, minus g to the negative 3 because we're taking the derivative of i minus g to the negative second. So this is equal to 2d1 over i minus g cubed. And when you divide this by the price, you get convexity. 
with respect to the interest rate, and that's 2 over i minus d squared. Okay, well, we are given that i is equal to 8%, g is equal to 4%, so we plug that in, and we end up with 2 divided by 0.04 squared, and that's 1250, so that's the answer, and that's answer D of the answer choices given. Please remember this is copyright, copyrighted uh, by me, it's copyrighted material. It was published as exercise number one uh, in my online exercises, free exercises that I've been putting um, online as uh, files for reading, not videos. Uh, in 2005, and of course, I hope it all makes sense. Um, you can send questions if you don't understand things, or just write comments for the video. Um, and I do wish you good luck in your studying, and good luck on the exams.